separating from the mother of my child was like the biggest challenge ever. I, I've never been in a situation where, you know, I have my daughter, my firstborn, and now the family that I once knew was none. It wasn't anymore. And in my past, I, I did have a criminal background. Um, I wasn't able to get certain jobs that I was qualified for. I had never been on, on welfare, so I, had, I didn't know what the, the ins and outs were. And I remember just applying. And at the time, I didn't have a, a stable place to live. I was moving from place to place to place. I was pretty much like couch surfing. And um, the woman behind the desk told me, so where's your place of residence? You know, fill it out here. I'm like, oh, all I have is a mailing address. She's like, okay, we'll just put, uh, put homeless. It doesn't matter how you look. You know, once you're painted a label and, you know, once someone says you're a certain thing, you know, it just, it takes everything away from you. That was like one of my major, major, major de defining moments where I told myself, this isn't who I am. And coming here into trying to figure out where I need to go, what I need to do, so that I'm able to be stable with myself and my daughter so that I'm able to continue College of the Canyons and continue going to school and my, my classes and finding work and doing what I need to do so that I'm okay, not only for myself, but for my daughter as well. Someone told me, go to EOPS. And I'm like, well, what's EOPS? Oh, you can get free books. Okay, perfect, this, this sounds good for me. So I met with several EOPS counselors and they kind of, you know, told me what I need to do so that uh, I'm able to continue here, you know, continue school at College of the Canyons. And uh, I remember the first thing I said, you know, I was like, I need childcare. I was told that there's an early childhood education program here on campus. And the first thing that I was told, I was like, well, there's no room. So I was like, okay, well, what, what can I do? You know, I, I have to find childcare some, one way or another. So I filled out my application. You know, I had my daughter with me, and we t we're taking the train back. And um, I'm not a real religious person, but I do have, you know, my, my belief in, in God. And, and I remember at that time and point, I opened the Bible up. I just prayed to God, and I just remember I got a phone call from Gloria within five minutes later saying, hey, there's a spot opening up. Um, if you can get these documents for me, we can probably get you in uh, with childcare. And that's the first thing I did. I'm like, whatever you need, I don't care what you need, I'm there. <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes just to, you know, get childcare so I can start, you know, the fall semester with 19 units. I, I took uh, Counseling 150. It taught me how to hold accountability for, accountability for myself, my actions. It helped me how to, um, I guess, be more empathetic and really take responsibility for the things that I'm, you know, trying to, I guess pursue and the things that I think about in the sense where if I put myself in a certain situation, where is that going to lead me? I, I still remember as a student here, there'd be days where I would be so tired because I was on a strict routine. I'd be here on campus by 7.30 to drop off my daughter by 7.45, um, get some food and go straight to class. I may, throughout the whole day that I was here, I maybe had like a half hour break between classes and I would go get some food and then just go sit at the honor grove and just take a nap under a tree. Any time that I, I can do anything with my daughter, um, I, that, that's the best time for me. And she loves the Dodgers and uh, she's a huge fan. I volunteered at the Economic Development Corporation here and I met Claudia Dunn, who is now the special assistant to uh, Dr. Van Hook and she just remembered my work ethic. And she asked me, you know, if I wanted to work in the chancellor's office. And the first thing I said, sure, you know, who wouldn't want to work there? And everything worked out perfect. And up until the point where I graduated, I, I never thought I'd, I'd get there. And to not only have the support from everyone around me in my family, my daughter, but to have the support from the chancellor of the college and the people in the office where I work. And, you know, just knowing that, you know, I have that support from them, it, it meant everything to me. To me, I've always thought of myself to be a statistic in the sense where, because of where I come from, you know, not too many people get to the point where I'm at, especially where I grew up. I grew up in the San Fernando Valley in Panorama City, and it's, you know, predominantly a gang territory. 
but I feel humbled and blessed that I'm in a position where I'm okay. And I can say, hey, I graduated from College of the Canyons. I'm George Vasquez, and I'm College of the Canyons.